In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the Mori Bakery and how we can filter bakes. Okay, so let's get into the baking here right away. In this first version of the bakery, essentially, if you wanna tweak curvature on details and you wanna actually see what you're doing, I recommend that you actually zoom in on an object because you can see here when I now have this preview in it's gonna take essentially essentially the camera from this view here and uh, there's a feature request that you can tumble on this so that that would definitely be good to be able to uh, reorient the preview uh, later on but in the meantime you essentially have to zoom in to where you want to tweak and then you can here start to add your ambient occlusion i'm gonna make thickness and curvature and let's see here let's set it to medium this is the preview and then hit the play button and we will get a preview here but as you can see here i forgot you have to say speeder here the the bake to and from geometry in my case here is something that you need to set that's something i've done here let's take a look here and uh, this one looks like something funky with the normals maybe we have to investigate that later so you can see here now you get the preview let's go into thickness you can adjust the thickness for example like so uh, so that's essentially the distance of uh, the th thickness and thickness is essentially an ambient occlusion with reverse normals curvature there you go let's see here i'm just gonna sample offset tweak that a bit something like this there we go you can now essentially bake out to geo channels and this is something I sh i'm gonna do in my case i'm just gonna delete all of these here and show you another thing that can be very very good to use that is to be able to load essentially import and save presets so this is something that I did already i'm just gonna go here to my mechanical scale one import it and we can see here i have already set up this pass here essentially getting all of this already set up for me there you go let's bake this out so i'm gonna bake this uh, 2k to geo channels okay okay and there we go there we have all of the maps baked they should pop out here under the objects and I'm just gonna dock the objects here and we can see here under my geo channels you see here ambient occlusion curvature thickness and we are all fine and dandy there so let's drop down a geo channel node and take a look here what we got when i uh, um, zoom out here ambient occlusion ao and there we go curvature thickness okay yeah so so there we have the initial bakes here and so what what can we do with these bakes now we can uh, essentially apply different recipes using passes here as an in in ingredient so let's take a look at my shelf and we can see here my dirt I essentially have a mask i have a procedural mask dirt color we can select something else here and take my dirt mask and this one are using ambient occlusion curvature and, and these type of things to apply like a basic material in my case here if i look at this we can see here i have different names here so let's take a deeper look here at this workflow you can see here in my case here i essentially baked my ambient occlusion to be called ambient underscore occlusion but in this procedural here custom procedural if i look into this we're gonna see here that's gonna look a bit strange so when i double click and take a look here we can see missing channels and this is because when I created this uh, recipe here, my ambient occlusion were called AO and AO short. So essentially I had additional passes and, and different names. So I used an ambient occlusion. So this one we could essentially already fix. I also had a shorter ambient occlusion bake. Uh, so either we have to create this, but we can, we can partly remedy this but by going here to ambient occlusion we can essentially if i hit a comma and say ao this will take care of the name so now this essentially this geo channel will essentially accommodate both ambient occlusion and ao in the name so this is one way essentially here uh, this recipe also needs ao short so that's something that we can remedy by creating an a short 
ambient occlusion. So let's go into the bakery again. I'm just going to take this name, copy, go back to my ambient occlusion here. I'm just going to untick this and create a new ambient occlusion short bake. And we want to do this by go a short. And now I'm just going to tweak and create a, a essentially a very short ambient occlusion bake. And that is by essentially taking down this sample distance here. So I just get essentially some details rather than the, the full ambient occlusion. I'm going to bake this out a short to a geo channel and let's bake this. And there we can see something pop there. And now essentially have like a, a, a gizmo here that is now working. It's picking up both my AO and AO short. And let's go back here to my objects. So now we see here my ambient occlusion is working and and it's also called AO. I have my AO short baked as well. So this is kind of like a dirt color. If I go here into my dirt mask that essentially is meant to apply this uh, texture on top of the model using uh, some of these bake passes, we can see here I have some problems here as well. In this case, this uh, gizmo is looking for something called curve huge. And that's something I, I essentially took from extension pack where we have different, essentially curvature is blurred in different levels. I created something similar using uh, a few uh, curvature bakes and I baked out essentially like the normal curvature and then I blurred it and tweaked it and made a curve huge out of this. So we can do this essentially by either uh, going back to the bakery here and uh, tweaking, uh, we can uh, essentially create an additional curvature pass if we want to and, and call this curve huge. I'm just gonna take this name here and we can create the curve huge. So yeah, so once here in the bakery, we can create a, a, like a broader curvature that um, then can construct this curve huge with if we want to. Let's take a look at here. I'm just going to make a curvature and let's call this curve huge. But in my case, I'm actually going to make a medium curvature and construct the curve huge by a filter operation. So I can show you how I did that. So I'm essentially going to use my curvature and curve medium to construct something that is curve huge. So let me demonstrate this, how we can do this. So I want to create a, um, a curvature that is essentially this sample offset is somewhat like we're going to boast it up quite a lot here around there. Maybe uh, I'm going to bake out the geo channel. So all of this can then be saved out as a preset. So we can just essentially apply this on any asset if we want to in the end. And hopefully we can get filter operations on top of our bakes in coming versions. I already have a, a feature request for it because that would open up more possibilities to actually set up custom workflows for us. So let's create this curve huge now. So we, we need two year channels. We're gonna need this one. Uh, and we want to pick up the regular curvature, curvature like so. And I'm just going to drop down another geo channel and I want to have my curve medium uh, like so. And that one is obviously going to be larger th than the, the regular curvature. Now I want to essentially blend these two, but I also want to apply a filter operation. So this is how you can uh, filter um, your bakes. So if you insert a bake point, I'm gonna make the scalar data. I'm just gonna now bake this using a bake point like so. Looking at this bake point now, I'm just gonna go in here and blur this a lot here. So we're gonna make a filter on top of the bake point and say here Gaussian and we're gonna blur the crap out of this like so. Okay. So there we have the first ingredient to make this blur huge. I'm just also gonna blend this in here. I'm just gonna do a merge. So I'm gonna take this one as a base and I'm just gonna have this as an overlay, add this back here on top like so. So we get some details where, where they start to fall apart. 
let's see here i could probably just also make a big point here and blur this slightly and then combine these two as a uh, as a essentially curve huge so we have the big point there let's create another filter and just slightly less uh, blurring on this one just so we get the it had there and now okay and now i'm gonna make a big point again and this is where we want to create our new essentially curvature huge uh, because big points can also create geo channels so essentially this is a filter operation i'm taking my original curvature the the bigger curvature i'm blurring them and then i'm combining them and making a new geo channel out of this in a pipeline i could export this as a essentially a setup uh, gizmo so you bake out your curvature your medium curvature that in turn can run these processes and create this uh, new curvature that is like a combined filtered operation well, let's bake this and this is essentially what i want filter operations to do straight from the bakery so you can set up these recipes and then essentially have a setup operation that would then run these filters and create these new geo channels that could be picked up in recipes i have to do this manually it would be nice if you could just run the bakery and it will do this as a pros process essentially so we have here now the the baked uh, operation and now we want to go here to export geo channel and let's let me see here what's it called curve huge it's gonna copy this name and paste it in here export back to your channel and now we should have a geo channel let's take a look at my geo channels yeah yes we have curve huge here now and this curve medium is essentially like a temporary channel or a working channel to create curve huge and we can go in here and tweak some of these settings here yeah, so I'm going to save this and now I'm just going to here essentially go here and, and save these settings here uh, as a new uh, uh, preset. And then we can apply this on a totally different object. So let's do that. So I'm just going to go here, mechanical scale one version two. I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to load another asset and uh, set up this. So I also need these nodes to be able to set this up so i'm just going to export this out i'm going to go to here file export nodes and export it to the same location setup setup script okay so let's jump over to this other project and uh, take a look how we can just yes, now easily bake this out and set it up uh, automatically okay so let's set up this asset here go here to my bake to and from object and I want to load here, import. So we want to import from disk. And this is the version 2 that we just saved out from this other object. And let's see here what we got. And, and we can see here we have ambient occlusion, thickness, and all of this set up here with, with the settings with, we saved out in this other scene. So let's just essentially run this through here and hit the bake. So I'm going to create my geo channels. And now it's going through here and baking all of these for us. So ambient occlusion, thickness, curvature, AU short and curve medium. I'm baking in 2K here and we're halfway through already. And as soon as we're going to see here, it start to populate the, the geo channels here when it comes to the post process. So the post process stage is essentially uh, copying the paint from uh, temporary channels into the geo channels. And you can see here on the side when they start to populate and there is there we have it and it's already set up uh, in my case here when you build your uh, gizmos you have to come up with the name standard you shouldn't do what i'm doing now uh, mix yeah if you have pattern that is relying on the ambient occlusion but the, the pattern in my case here uh, if i hover over we can see here you can see on uh, the the bottom row there you can see ao and curve huge thickness is what is expected in this one can rename as i did there and i did that on purpose you can see here how you can take care of these inconsistencies if for example you get a, a gizmo that has another naming standard can fix that by just renaming with a comma add those on top there so we need to import now this setup channel that i created because remember we need to set up uh, our curve huge file import nodes we have this setup script i'm just going to import it here 
it will already be listening to my uh, curvature and curve medium. So I just need to essentially run my bake here on these bake points and it will then start to filter my curvatures there. And there's the first, well, let's take a look here. And we can see it's a filter there. And now we need to run it here on this one. Uh, so this one is gonna be the larger blur on this one. So we need to bake it again. And this one would be nice to have this option in the bake engine to have a sense. Essentially, I'm envisioning that you have a second node graph. Where you set up your uh, filter operations and it will then run for you under the hood. Something here that I want to tweak here. Um, unfortunately, in this version of Mari, you can, you, your radius here doesn't really go that high and it's essentially hard coded to a limit. You, if you want to bake something that's even more blurred, it's actually, you can do it by doing this, what I'm doing now. If you want to go in here and say, set this down to something lower, for example, uh, 1k because we're gonna blur this anyway so i'm just gonna take my bake point and uh, delete bake and then run bake here again so now i'm baking this uh, curvature into a lower resolution the blurring becomes more aggressive depending on you essentially your patch size so that's kind of a, a workaround if you want to blur something more out of the box there and now i'm just gonna now run my curvature huge operation that will broadcast this uh, out to an, a new geo channel. So I'm just going to bake this result of this operation and this should then set up everything for us so we can apply our essentially our uh, gizmos properly here. So let's now drag my shelf here. I'm just going to take my color first and let's see here what happens. It uh, should, should work. There we have some color here. We can go in here and tweak the base color, for example, if you want to uh, tweak the value, saturation, and yeah, all of this. And then you have also this other mask gizmo that's going to look like this. And here we can tweak the look. And yeah, they, they, these are quite basic. Obviously, we can spend a lot more time going in here and find it. This is essentially what lives inside. We have, looking here, we, we're using ambient occlusion. I have a histogram scan here. Essentially, let's go one at a time. I'm inverting this. I'm uh, applying a thickness bake here. So I'm picking up the thickness using an geo channel. I'm adding it on top here to create this. And then I have some dirt patterns here. I have a splatter node. My curve huge that is applying. Let me see here. This on top of here. An overlay. What else do we have? We have some additional ambient occlusion that I crunch essentially to remove stuff inside here where it's been uh, occluded. Then we have a, uh, let me see here. So in my case here, we can see here, I have also a radio node here or a, a broadcaster receiver here that is essentially listening to having like manual input in this pattern here. So we could have something that, for example, I can set up something here. And if I go inside here and pick up this name here, I'm going to set up a broadcaster. I'm going to broadcast this name. And I could essentially here go in here and start to paint on, on top of this manually from outside here. If I do this, I can start to paint additional information straight into this node here using a broadcaster and it will live inside the custom procedural as a an input uh, and I'm using here essentially a, a broadcaster node because if I go now in here anything I do here will be picked up uh, using this variable here or this broadcaster receiver. That's another way you can essentially also use broadcaster and uh, teleporters in uh, gizmos in conjunction with geo channels if you want to have something that is essentially live. This was a long one and uh, if you want to support my channel just give me a comment and uh, a like and uh, that will help immensely. See you on the channel. Bye bye.